Perfect. Hey, everybody. Trina here with um, a special guest and a dear friend. I am with um, Dr. Dan Pompa. Dan, say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, um, we're running a little late. Dan was um, hanging out with Ben Greenfield. So uh, yeah, tell you us. Blame, you can blame him. I had to drive him back to the airport. <laughs> so if you don't follow Ben, you're probably going to want to, right, Dan? <laughs> oh, yeah. Now he's He's a piece of work, man. He never stops moving in my house. He gets up. I, we go to dinner. He's stretching. I mean, he comes home. He's stretching. In the morning, he's stretching. I mean, he, he's, uh, he's all in, man. That's all I can say. <laughs> he's a trip. He's definitely a trip. So, so hey, have you ever detoxed your pets? Uh, yeah, no. I, you know what? I never had to detox my pets. But let me be clear. My pets do fast periodically, uh, which is a form of detox. Um, but yeah, you know, my pets uh, eat all raw and it's like they are absolutely incredibly healthy. My 11 year old dog, he can still run 15 miles behind me on my mountain bike. I mean, amazing, right? That's awesome. Benefit about feeding him raw. What about, because I had a friend of mine who was using um, something to detox her dog from glyphosate, from the pesticides in, you know, the grass, when people get their grass fertilized. Mm -hmm. Any thoughts on that? Like glyphosate? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, I, I have people detoxing their dogs a lot for a lot of different reasons. And one of what you just mentioned, right? I mean, fortunately, we don't have that issue where I am. Um, but yeah, that, that's an issue. Dogs are toxic. They're toxic from the glyphosate in their food uh, because they're feeding them grain-based foods, a lot of people. And that glyphosate is creating leaky gut, leaky brain, just like in humans. You know, not to mention the amount of heavy metals that are in dog food. So yeah, big, big issue. Now, look, I, I'm not a veterinarian, so I can't make recommendations for like cyto detox, this and that, but I'll say this, people use it all the time, you know? So I don't recommend doing these things. I'm not a veterinarian, but people do it all the time to detox the dogs. Yeah, and you know, I know people just love their pets. They love their dogs. So anyway, I didn't mean to go start with the dogs and that, but <laughs> yeah. I just- hey, yeah. We're going right after them. I love it, yeah. I, I, I just thought about that and I'm like, oh, the Cyto Detox might be great for the pets, especially like in our neighborhood where people are always spraying their yards with stuff. 